The Mean Queen on Halloween, a story by Hannah Kizzelbosch, illustrated by Michelle Dominato. Hannah's Dedication This book is dedicated to all the girls who've had to shrink themselves to fit the expectations that society has placed on them. To you, I say, stand tall, take up space, and let your voice echo through time. My curls and coils are everywhere. They're up and down and here and there. They point this way and that way too. They jump with me when I hear boo. With ghosts and goblins in the streets and robots saying trick or treat. You wouldn't think that I'd be scared. Of just being a kid with curly hair. To trick or treat on Halloween, I dressed up as a mighty queen with a crown of curls upon my head and down the street I proudly led. I turned the corner and I screamed. My curls bounced high. My face turned green. There stood a troll all green and wooly. She was our street's biggest bully. She laughed at me. <laughs> Are you a queen? Avery, she scoffed. You shouldn't be seen. Your hair makes you look like a clown. You really should take off that crown. At once, I heard myself say, Harper, you shouldn't talk this way. Your words aren't nice. They are so mean. You're the mean queen this Halloween. She looked surprised and shook her head. then quickly turned around and fled. I wondered why she ran away, but then she talked to me the next day. I think you're brave, and I am not. By picking on you, I forgot that you have curly hair like me, removing her hat, saying, Look, Avery, Her own curls spilled out, shiny and strong. Her face showed she knew she'd been wrong. She said, I was bullied for my hair too. So I should not have done that to you. Harper's eyes got teary, and then she said, I'm not even in any books I've read. Seeing you dressed up like a queen, it made me feel really unseen. I should have lifted you up high, not been the one to make you cry. We are both girls with mighty curls, and one day we will rule the world. I'm sad that you've been bullied too. There's something that I want to share with you. Say it with me. It's a special phrase. It's okay for me to take up space.
It's okay for me to take up space. That really helped me to feel safe. Thank you, Avery, for showing me the way to be brave like you every day. About the author. Hannah Kizelbosch is a mom, wife, author, and proud advocate for inclusion and representation. As a first-generation immigrant, woman of color, and member of the LGBTQIA community, her writing seeks to empower all children by presenting concepts of diversity, inclusion, self-love, and acceptance through the art of storytelling. She lives in Richmond, Virginia with her wife and two daughters. This is her second children's book and the debut book of the Alley Girl series. About the Illustrator Michelle Dominato is a Filipino illustrator, painter, and animator residing in Chesapeake, Virginia. As a child, she grew up reading Archie comics and the witch graphic novels that inspired her illustration work today. She is excited about visual storytelling and making art accessible by incorporating diverse and inclusive themes into her projects. The Alley Girls Avery is a spunky, bubbly, and empathetic biracial girl of Black and Indian heritage who dreams of being an astronaut. Fiercely loyal and just, she will stand up for who and what she believes in and takes up as much space as she gives to others. She tends to choose innovative approaches to solving conflicts. She does not like big cats or bugs, but she does want to save worms and snails from treacherous sidewalks. Harper is an extremely intelligent and observant biracial girl of Black and Indian heritage who dreams of being a rock star princess. She is extremely independent and forms her own opinions about the world around her. She is also extremely effective at negotiating to get what she wants. While she does not like bees, she is fascinated by their stingers. Stay tuned for the second book in the Alley Girl series as Harper and Avery continue to bear the torch of friendship, sisterhood, and leadership. The End